maximum. Um, Pizza. How are you feeling? How's your foot? Uh, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm super happy. Uh, tough fight, but dominant performance. And this is what I always say. You can have a plan till the first punch. And uh, I took the fight second by second. And uh, I'm happy. 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 I'm just happy. Can you just happy. your foot injury? What, what happened? At what round I, I, you think, I think I broke it at the end of the second round or the third round and uh, fifth round I was like okay I, I shouldn't kick with this foot I felt pain but then I was like just fuck it <laughs> what worse can happen like they're gonna break it in three pieces they're gonna put it together that's it you know and uh, that's a tough business you know and honestly I don't like myself uh, from the octagon being injured uh, with the crotches but it's my job, big big hobby, big, big passion, crazy passion, crazy job. But this is how we make money, baby. And uh, I love it. And I, I don't know, I will go to the hospital tomorrow morning. And now I want to rest, spend some time with my family, uh, with the people who came to watch my fight. I'm very, uh, I want to say thank you to the fans. They fill up the arena and uh, that's amazing, you know. And uh, so many uh, Polish flags, uh, T-shirts. Uh, it was amazing, you know. It, I felt like home. Uh, it was an honor to headline the show. Uh, and let's do this one more time. There was a lot of people, fighters, fans, tweeting about you and where we really? are next. That's um, cool. That's, that's what's up. Make, that's right? what's next. That's what's next. Like I like I said uh, two days ago, I had a few interviews with the Chinese outlets, and uh, they asked uh, me about that fight. They are super pumped. They want this fight to happen in Poland. Let's do it at the national stadium for 60,000 people. Let's wait for spring. I will heal my foot. Uh, of course, uh, where is the champ and it's her decision. But let's make this happen. I'm ready, more than ready. Is that why you said you felt really at home? Is that why after the fight you decided to like sign every autograph and take every photo? Of course, there is no sport without fans, you know? And, and, and we athletes should respect uh, the fans, you know, because we get paid because of them, because they come into the shows, they buying tickets, pay-per-views, so much respect to all of them, and, and that's uh, that's amazing. Uh, the UFC PR department uh, is doing an amazing job. The, the social me media department is doing an amazing job. Uh, it's it's very important. We, we 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 should always remember about our our fans. In retrospect, did all of the drama of five weeks Hey, watch the Hela's interview for TMZ, okay? And it was a mental game. But we handled the business from the beginning till the end, man. And like, when I saw when I saw on the scale big way, I I just wanted to give a head a heads up. But I'm a pro, and uh, what I had to go through before the fight with Rosna Mayunas, I had my fight. I was not a competitor that night. I don't want to take anything from Rosna Mayunas. She was the champ. She's a great athlete, and she's going to be became the champ uh, probably one more time, one day. But uh, I had my fight, and I, I'm 32. I cannot put my life uh, and health uh, on the line. You know, it's not worth it. Uh, any money and. I made a weight, healthy way, I hydrated well. Big, big, big uh, credit to the UFC Performance Institute. Clint, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. There was a report that came out that you maybe had a fall out with George Walker in the middle of camp. No, 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 it's not, it's no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Never, ever. I would say that George is an amazing nutritionist and I was uh, on George's uh, diet, but it's not like I put on weight because of his diet. I, I was in touch uh, uh, with George Lockhart, Eric, a big thanks to all, all, all of these guys. They offered me help at the end, but you know, I, I, I did everything. I did everything what I could, just my body shut down, the weight went up, but you know, during the fight week, everything went uh, smooth and easy. Is there anything you could do next time to make it easier? Easier? What easier? I always do my best. And guys, like, uh, like when people heard uh, the rumor about me not making the weight, and they were like, go on treadmill. I can offer you this. I know what makes you sweat, you know? And like that, this drama bullshit. And uh, they're not an athlete. I, I'm pro. Like, and 
don't uh, doubt me. Never, ever. I'm pro and I always do my best. 100%. I train two, three times a day. I keep my diet. For last month, I was eating 1,000 calories a day. When I put my heart rate, I burn like six, eight 8,000 kilocalories a day. Come on, guys. I know what to do. I've been in this business for 16 years, okay? Can you uh, talk about you know, the fight itself and how it went relative to the game plan? Like, did you execute? Obviously, you probably have to adjust some things because of the foot. Yeah, I had to adjust, but you know, she did a great job uh, in the clinch, but. She got this out. Like I said, you know, uh, my condition is always good, and I feel so great after, uh, even after the the, the fifth round. Uh, good knees. I felt the knees uh, sometimes, and and I need to. I needed the time to, you know, adjust a little bit, uh, make a space for elbows, uh, knees, and and you know, I'm I'm very happy to be back on the winning track. You know. Call Dana yet? Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh, I was giving an interview for ESPN. Uh, I did some other interviews. Uh, and I recall Dana definitely. What are you gonna say? That I love him so much, and I'm it, it, that it was an honor to fight for him. You know, it was life changing to me signing with the UFC. I remember uh, the time uh, when Lorenzo was here, but the, with the new owners, uh, we have more possibilities. Uh, so I'm very blessed. Uh, blessed and happy to fight for the UFC, the best MMA organization in the world, and, and and big thanks to Dana. And it's not like I'm trying to be sweet and put the finger into his ass, but that's not <laughs> true because he knows he knows what's up, you know. And and I remember my first title defense uh, when they called me just five weeks before the show in Berlin, and I did that, you know. And uh, and uh, we handled this business well. So um, I just want to say thank you to you. Uh, say uh, say um, how thankful I am, you know, for uh, having so much trust in me and Michelle and the women's MMA. That's amazing. I know well, you're a professional, but was it hard to get in the cage with Michelle, someone that you know you like? And, and since you guys it was not cage? hard. It was not hard, but definitely I like to feel the fire even more and need to work on it more because when I do like someone, it's not like you know. Uh, we need this. We need this sports aggression you know and uh, definitely more but I I, I re uh, yeah, you're right I have so much respect to her because uh, she's an amazing athlete people from Albuquerque are, are really good people and the team Greg Greg Jackson are amazing people there is a good atmosphere I was uh, there training for three days back in a day and that, that's it you know she's an amazing athlete she, she's broken right now but I told her to keep her head up because uh, she, she's she's top top athlete you know top athlete Really but it's down. my time. Let it lean down Mike Brown your corner. He was in Vegas last night for yeah. Kayla Harrison. And then he comes down with yeah. a picture. He's here for you tonight. Yeah. Mikey Brown, come here. Come here. Cattell, come. Mikey Roach, come on. Come on, guys. Come here. They want to ask you some questions. Because we are a team and they took a red eye, like Mikey Brown, Mikey Roach, Cattell Kubis is here. We are a team, the team. and and. We are the best in the world. ATT won, uh, like uh, one, 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 the best gym of the year uh, awards for the second year in a row. That's amazing. Three, three, three. three. Mike, can you talk about oh, yeah. Joanna's toughness? I mean, <clears throat> she had you know her foot really swollen up, and she was still kicking in the, in the fifth round. Um, it was pretty, pretty impressive, and a lot of people were taking away uh, on Twitter. Well, I think mental toughness is one of our greatest <laughs> attributes, right? But I don't watch horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think this is one of her absolute strengths, right? Me mental toughness is what uh, gets her through a lot of her fights. Uh, can superior conditioning, superior striking, mental toughness. I think these are the. Uh, Just last thing for you, Yonah. Uh, this fight with all you duds come together. How does it unfold? What does the fight look like? Look like a train. <coughs> Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. We're going to have a perfect plan, but we're going to adjust. And. I'm a warrior, and I was there. I made it, and I will make it again. What, what would it mean to you to get that belt back? It means a lot, and my legacy is big, and I don't have to prove anything to anybody, even to myself. And probably I should stop, but I want to do this. I want to keep on doing this, because it's my life, you know? I was born for that, and I feel like it's my mission uh, to show to people, even after I fell, you say? Fell? Yeah. Fell. Like lost my belt. Uh, I felt like I had to pick my gloves 
and like carry myself as a champion and show to people that it's worth it to fight for your dreams. That's it. What do you mean probably you should stop? Stop? I don't stop. I never stop. 